Do you know that you can actually manipulate this table of values even without touching the apparatus? Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you're going to manipulate the, your table of values with the apparatus given to you, even without performing the practicals. Now, if this is your first time tuning, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications because you have a lot to gain. With no further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, these are the apparatus requested for you to use to carry out this experiment. Now, this is a ray bus, okay? that has a small opening. Now, this is a convex lens. This is a lens holder. This is a screen where the image of object is seen. So the first thing that will come to your mind is this. What is the focal length of this convex lens? From the apparatus provided, the focal length is 15 centimeters and it's constant, okay? So that means our F is 15 centimeters, right? Now, if F is 15 centimeters and your U is known, this is the object distance, which is the distance between the ray bus and the convex lens. Now, if no U is given, like in the experiment I perform, U is given as what? 30 centimeters, okay? And I was able to measure my A, which is the image size, right? Although, from the ray bus, I've already measured my object size. Now, from the ray bus I use, my object size is constant, which is what? 1.5. What about my object size? Look at it. Get your ray bus. You're going to see something like this. There's a small opening in your ray bus, okay? This is your small ruler to measure it. That is your object size, A0. And it remains constant throughout this experiment. So now, from this particular ray bus, the object size is 1.5 centimeters. So I'm going to write it here that my A0 is equal to 1.5 centimeters. Okay, so for this particular experiment, what we varied was what the U and we equally got the image size. That means when the image is formed, you now do what? Use the ruler to measure it. But you can actually get this using the mirror formula and magnification formula. Let me teach you how. Now, if F is known and U is known, you can actually get your image distance using the lens formula. Okay, if you use the lens formula to get the image distance, now you're going to do what? You're going to use the magnification formula to say that what? Magnification is equal to image distance over object distance, okay? Equals to the size of the image or the height of the image over what? Height of the object. Now, if you do that when you is 30, you're going to get your what? Your V which is the image distance. Because you already know your size of the object, because you're what? You're what? H0. You can get your size of the image. Do you understand? So I'm going to teach you how to do that. Now, having my table, I have this as what? My U measured in centimeters, okay? Then I'm going to have my V measured in centimeters. What am I giving you V? In case I ask to plot a graph of U against V, it can also work for you. Then I'm going to have my what? My A, which is also measured in centimeters. Okay? Now, something that you must keep constant is what? The F. The F is what? 15 centimeters. Don't forget. The focal length of this convex lens is 15 centimeters. Okay? Now, with this formula now, I'm going to be able to derive this image distance and also what? The size of the image. Now, the U, which is the object distance, is going to vary. From this, this is going to be 30.00, 35.00, 40.00, 45.00, and 50.00. Now, at the end of the day, because when I perform these experiments, you're going to see that the values is close or something related to what I already got when I performed the practicals. Do you understand? So remember, if it is remark values, not a fixed value. So that does not mean it must be the same thing. No. They are going to be marked according to what you have. Okay? So let's proceed. Now, this becomes my image distance. I'll call it my what? V. You need to know that in case you are asked to measure it because it's possible. Okay? Okay, now let's proceed. My F is constant, which is 15 centimeters. Okay, then I will say U, I'm going to solve when U is 30 centimeters. So what I'm going to find is my what? My V. And what again? My A. My A becomes what? 
height of what? Image, right? So let's solve it together. All right, what you need is just your calculator and your pen, okay? Now let's proceed. I'm going to say one over F is equals to one over U plus one over V. This is Lens formula, okay? Putting the value of F, I'll say one over 15 is equal to one over 30 plus one over V, right? Then taking this one to the other side, one over 15 is, one over V is equal to one over 15 minus one over 30, okay? Now what will be the LCM? Let me proceed. One over V is equal to, my LCM is what? I will use 30, this can go. So 15 into 30 is going to give me two. I'm going to have two minus what? One, right? Now I will say one over V is equals to one over 30, right? Therefore, V is equals to 30, okay? Now I've gotten this V as 30, I'm going to record it here, 30.00, okay? Now for me to get my A, which is this, the size of the image or the height of the image, okay? I'm going to use magnification formula by saying V M is equal to V over U, then is equal to height of image over height of object. Okay? Now my V is 30, 30 over 30, because U is 30, right? Then is equal to height of the image over height of the object. And the height of my object, which is the whole of the of the ray balls, is constant. It is giving us what? 1.5, right? Automatically, this cancel this will give us 1 is to 1, right? So therefore, the height of what? The image is equal to 1.5 centimeters. So here, my A becomes 1.50. Do you understand? Okay, so let me proceed when U is 35 centimeters. Remember, U is the distance between the ray balls and the convex lens. In this one, we just change our U to 35 centimeters, right? I'm going to get the rest of the things there. Now let's proceed. This 1 over 15 is equal to 1 over what? My U is 35 plus 1 over V, right? 1 over V is equal to 1 over 15 minus 1 over what? 35, okay? So what's my LCM? My LCM of this and this is 105. So I'm going to do... 105, 15 into 105 is going to give me 7. This is 7 minus 35 into this is going to give me what? 3. I'm going to have 3. So 1 over V is equal to 4 over 105, right? By the time you do cross multiply, that is 105 over 4. You simply divide. Uh, 105 divided by 4, it gives me. 26.25. But because you are using a mixer rule, you cannot see 0 0.25. You're going to just use 26.3. Do you understand? That is approximate value. 26.3 what? Centimeters. So I'll record it here to be 26.30 what? Centimeters. So now for me to get my a, which is my height of image, I use V over U equals what? Height of image over height of object, okay? So what's my V now? My V is what? 26.3 over, my U is what? 35. This is 35 is equals to, the height of image is unknown, while the height of object is known, which is 1.5, okay? So simply do cross multiply, you simply do cross multiply by saying 26.3 times 1.5 then divided by 35 it's going to give you 1.13 okay now in your calculator you cannot see one in your sorry in your meter rule you cannot see 1.13 because it has just one place of decimal so my hi will be approximately what 1.10 do you understand so a centimeter. So this is going to be 1.10. I hope that is clear. All right. So the next one is simply by changing this to what? 40 centimeters. Okay. Let me change it to 40. 
I'm going to replace it here to get the values of V and A. The same way we proceed, we are going to continue that way to get all the values. So you have 1 over 15 equals to 1 over 40 minus 1 over V. So 1 over V is equals to 1 over 15 minus 1 over 40, right? Okay, so find the LCM is equals to 120. I have this is 120, okay? 15 into 120, simply you can just work it out. If I have 15, you're going to give me 8. Please, 8 minus 4 in, 120 to 40. Um, 120 to 40. I'm going to have 3. I'm going to have 3, right? Now, this is um, 1 over V is equal to 5 over 120, right? Cross multiply. V is equal to 120 over 5. So, you can just divide by having V to be 24. Now, this is 24.00 centimeters, okay? I'm going to record it there by having 24.00, okay? Now, we proceed by saying V over U is equal to height of image over height of object. What's my V? I already have 24 divided by my U is what? 40. Okay. Now, what's my height of image? I don't know. My height of object is constant, which is what? 1.5. Simply by making it a subject, you are going to say 24 times 1.4. Okay. Then the 1.5 rather divided by 40 is going to give me 0 0.9 centimeters. Okay. Now you can see that the values are actually what? decreasing the values are decreasing and this was actually what i got when i performed the experiment you can check the previous video on optics which is question two so this is 0 0.90 okay all right so the next one is just to change this to what 45 centimeters and every other thing will change so let's get the values of v and a just substitute by saying this is one over 45 plus 1 over v, right? Now this is 1 over v is equals to 1 over 15 minus 1 over 45, okay? Now making it, uh, finding the LCM, 1 over v is equals to 1 over, the LCM of 15 and 45 is 45, you can actually go. So this is 45, this into 45 is going to give us 3, so 3 times 1 is 3 minus, 45 into this is going to give us 1, so I'm going to have what? 1, right? Now, this is 1 over V is equal to 2 over what? 45, right? We do cross multiply. So, V is equal to 45 divided by 2 is going to give me 22.5 centimeters, right? So, that becomes my image distance. I'm going to record it to be 22.50 because why did I add 0? I want all my values to be in two decimal places. Now, for me to get the image size, or the height of the image, I'm going to use magnification. V over U is equals to height of image over height of what? Object, okay? So my V being gotten as 22.5 divided by, what's my U? My U is 45. Is equals to, I'm looking for height of the image over, the height of object is actually what? Constant. So I'll say cross multiply, okay, that my hi is equals to this multiply by this divided by 45, right? So let's work it out. 22.5 times 1.5, this, divided by 45 is going to give me 0 0.75 centimeters, okay? So I have this 0 0.75, right? Okay, now, because that this does not have two decimal places in meter rule, so I can choose to approximate it to have 0 0.8, it is still correct. Now this can be 0 0.8, you are still correct, okay? 0 0.80, to be on the safe side. Alright, the last one, the last but not the least, is when you is given as 50 centimeters, okay? You're still using the same procedure, by saying that 1 over 15 
is equals to 1 over 50 plus 1 over v, right? Now, making v the subject, we say 1 over v is equals to 1 over 15 minus 1 over 50, right? Now, we find the LCM, okay? Um, sorry, this is 1 over v is equals to the LCM of 15 and 50 is going to give us what? 150. I have 150, okay? Now, 15 into 150 is going to give me 10 times 1. I have 10 minus 15 into 150 is going to give me 3. So, I have 3, okay? So, now I have 1 over V is equals to 7 over 150, right? So, we can as well divide it. Now, to have cross multiply, V is equals to 150 over 7. So, let's go. So, divide 150 divide 7. Now, it's going to give V as 21.42. But because this 2 is not up to 5, you just have to use it as 21.4 centimeters, okay? So, record it here to be 21.40, right? So, let's find the final lap, which is V over U is equal to height of image over height of object okay so my v being gotten as 21.4 divided by my u is 50 is equals to the height of image is what you are looking for which is the size why the height of object is constant okay so we are going to say cross multiply simply by saying 21.4 Multiply by 1.5, that is this multiplied by this, right? Divide by 50 equals this. Divide by 50, I'm going to have 0 0.6, 0 0.642, right? Now, because the meter does not have this, so I'm going to work with 0 0.60 centimeters. Is that clear? So, what I have is what? 0. 60 centimeters. Now we are done with our readings. Now from the experiment I perform, we are asked to evaluate evaluate A over what? A naught. So I'm going to have the column for this. This is magnification actually, okay? Now this is A, which is what we have gotten, divided by what? Divided by this one. Do you understand? Okay, but whichever way, this is how you can obtain your reading of this optics experiment, even without touching the apparatus. Is this manipulation simple and short and straight to the point or performing the experiment is better? Let me know what you think in the comment section. If this video was able to help someone out there, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications because you have a lot to gain and to get notified each time I post videos. And lastly, you don't forget to share so that other students are preparing for this same forthcoming exam and see it and learn from there. I'll see you next time in the next one. Bye for now.